Hey folks, it's Kahan, and this is my first video that I'm doing for Ultima Online Home Decor, aka UAHomeDecor.com. Um, this one is going to be my square garden um, on the rooftop of the keep. It is a gar it's called a statue garden is what I've been calling it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go through the items you need to construct the statue garden. You need 14 short hedges, 14 flowers. They could be of any type. I'm using a mix of campions and poppies for this one. Uh, two arcana statues facing south, two warrior statues facing south. You could use all four as arcanist, all four as warriors, or any of the other um, statues that you can make that face south that are tall. Nine grass or nine gozes, whichever you're wanting to use, or snow if that's what your your choice is. Um, if you want to co cover the entire roof, which isn't really needed, you will need 32. One statue from the heritage tokens. This is the uh, large warrior looking statue. Five scattered poppies and one home decorating tool. So I'm going to go ahead and just start decorating. I'll talk as I go when I need to to explain what I'm doing and, and why. First I'm going to go ahead and place the statues down. That way you can see where they're going to go and they can be in place um, for laying out everything else. Now you'll notice with these you don't have to target any specific spot for them. You can basically put them anywhere and they will anywhere on this tile that you want them to be on. So like if you want it on this tile, you target that tile with the cursor and it will work just fine. I'm going to go ahead and place the grass down in the center to show where my center area is going to be. I'm going to leave the two spots in the middle blank because I'm not going to need to fill those up because the big statue will cover those. Now this part gets kind of fun and interesting because you have to place the poppies and the campions down before you place the uh, short hedges. If you don't, you can't place the short hedges and then the the uh, poppies or the campions first. It just doesn't work that way for some reason. Um, you always have to do this first, raise them extremely high, place the hedges, and then put them back down. So that's what this step is going to be, is the laying out of everything else. Every so often you're going to hear this clicking sound is because I'm not close enough to place it down. Sometimes I forget that I have to be closer than I think I am. Um, that's all that noise is, is the clicking. And sometimes you have to physically move out of the way so you can see where you're placing things down to. Now if you wanted to decorate the uh, sides, like the uh, tops here, you would have to do that before you do all this. I'm not really interested in adding decorations up there even though I could. Thank you. 
You raise them about 10 times and it'll go perfectly underneath it and you can lock down the hedge. And I suggest lower, you don't have to, but I suggest lowering and down the plants one time. It just makes it look a little more smooth. Yeah, that looks better. And I guess seven times works just as good as ten. Ten just gives you a little bit more room to work with. Seven is about the optimal height and is what I end up using for the last two of them. This spot is a little interesting because it's where the ladder is and so it makes it harder to um, place because you have to lower it further than you normally would with anything else. See how it popped it up higher? Once once the site is, once the page is done, I'm going to remove go down and remove the ladder probably with my other character and then um, lower this from the from the other side that way it'll be even with everything else oh, I guess it is even even though it doesn't look like it You may notice that I left my uh, my blue bug down below. It's because it's easier for me to um, not have not be on him than it is for him to be in because he's in the way. So I just leave him downstairs in the keep. Um, as you saw there, the hedge popped up on top of the plant. That meant it wasn't high enough up for me to do anything with it yet. That's weird. Let's try that again. Maybe I just need to raise that one up a little bit higher. Or, all else fails, lock it down like that and then move it down and just be careful not to hit the poppies, which is sometimes difficult to do. See how it popped up there? So I just lower it down until it says it can't be lowered any further. And that will work. And it all worked perfectly there. I think it's partially because the ladder is kind of hanging over in that area. And then you just kind of move everything down just a little bit.
and that's how the middle section is done. Then um, I normally place one of the poppies down first on top of the first square here. And lock it down. Actually, I think I placed two of them there if I remember right. Otherwise, I know I try to place one over here. Part of the problem with having everything already laid out is that sometimes the poppies are harder to place where you want them. Like that one worked. That one was placed right in front of the statue. But you just have to find the right one to lock it down. And then I placed the last one over here. And then I placed the statue. The statue now, actually there's another one to go, but the statue will go in the first of the two blank squares that you see. Whoops. That's even where I wanted that one. I guess we'll see. I think I don't want it there, so I'm going to re remove it. And with the new options, all you have to do is click Retrieve, and it'll pop back into your backpack. So you pop your statue down on the first square here, not on the second square. If you place it in the second square, it's too far back. If you place it in this first square, it'll pop up exactly where you want it to. And that was not the statue. That was a display case. Oops. So the statue, which is right here, you choose Select South, and you pop it up here. Now you can um, raise the poppies you place down first. So using your decorator tool, click up, and you see the poppies that are right underneath here? Start raising them up. Now it looks like a little, uh, looks like a little um, vined plant is growing over which makes it look kind of cool. You can raise it up a little bit further. I wouldn't advise a lot further because it won't look great. See? But if you leave it just as it is and pop it down just one, leave it like that. You could even add another poppy here like you'd have to place the poppies before you place your flowers and your plants because it's hard to place stuff there after the, the other plants are there. But once you're done it looks like that. And side note, the only way you can leave this area now is to use the menu to leave house unfortunately because it's all blocked off so just hit yourself and leave house and you're done and that is it that's how you uh, do the statue garden hope you